Sports Productions brings you high school basketball 1996-97. Tonight we come to you from Spring Cove, Roaring Spring, the Central Scarlet Dragons playing host to the Williamsburg Blue Pirates. Phil Sipes along with me tonight, Dave Smith, and now uh, move over Bing Crosby and Bob Hope and all those guys. This is our Christmas special tonight, buddy. We got uh, two days in front of Christmas. We got a heck of a ball game here tonight. Yeah, and here we are. We had uh, one day to practice. Uh, the other night we had the Guilfoyle girls game and uh, we practiced a little bit, so here we are. Uh, we're expecting a good basketball game here tonight. Uh, uh, Central has jumped out like to, uh, I think they're 8-0. and They have eight wins and no losses. And not only do they have uh, four returning starters back from last year, but three of those starters are underclassmen still this year. They're sophomores and juniors. So uh, we know that Central has a good ball club. They have 6-4, 6-3, 6-3 across the, the back. He says, and, and of course, uh, uh, we know also that Williamsburg uh, coming in here is off to a little bit of a, a rough start. They have a two and six record. But, but uh, talking to Coach Appleman, our uh, athletic director Appleman, before the game, uh, he explained to us that uh, a couple of their losses, they've had a couple tough losses, and they're a much, much better basketball team than their two and six record shows. And of course, to break out one of the old basketball cliches, anytime. Uh, you get two teams like this that close together, together on the basketball floor, you just throw the records out anyway. Well, one nice thing about the games that we do, we've been doing, Phil, both football and basketball, they've all been Blair County games. So it's almost every every game that we have is uh, turned is like a backyard brawl. Uh, they have a real friendly rivalry here, a uh, real good rivalry here with Williamsburg. We're only eight miles down the road. So I'm sure that... Uh, that the coaches from Williamsburg won't have a hard time getting them up for this central team, being that Central's undefeated and uh, eight miles away. It would be a, you know, it, it would almost make Williamsburg season to uh, get a win here tonight. Playoff atmosphere in late December. We'll be right back after these messages with the start of tonight's ball game. You're watching high school basketball. This is Cablecom Sports. And uh, we have what we hope will be a real uh, doozy here tonight in a high school basketball game early in December. I mean early in the season, late in December, two days in front of Christmas. And, of course, Central again playing host to Williamsburg tonight. And uh, we're just about ready to get going with this evening's ball game. And you talked about uh, Williamsburg coming in 2-6. and six. Of course, Central's undefeated at 8 No. And uh, this will be a, a, another good gauge, um, maybe more for Williamsburg than it will be for Central, but uh, how things are shaping up. Well, uh, Phil, you know, one school's a triple uh, A, uh, Central's a triple A high school, and Williamsburg's a single A. Uh, and a lot of times uh, some of the A teams don't get, get the respect that they deserve, but something we have to realize is Williamsburg plays in the Juniata Valley League, and the defending state champions in Class A in Pennsylvania is Juniata Valley High School, which is out of the uh, Juniata Valley League. So uh, they're used to playing against good competition, and they'll get it tonight. And we are going to have our starting lineup introductions. First for Williamsburg, you're getting a look at the 
Sophomore, Seth Kaufman, a six footer. Number 30. Roger Royer, a 6'1 junior, wearing number 24. And Mark Gorsuch, 6'2 senior, number 23. It seems like that Gorsuch kid's been around here forever for Williamsburg. Ryan Lang, a 6'1 senior, number 12. And Kyle Davis, a 6'3 senior. So three seniors, a junior and a sophomore, in the starting lineup for the Blue Pirates. And now on the other side of the coin for the Central Scarlet Dragons. Matt Lehman, a 6'1 senior. Robbie Keith, a 6'3 junior. Matt Imes, a 6'4 junior. Just a sophomore, runs the show for the central offense. Brooks Williams, 5'11. And Joe Kitt, the all around outstanding athlete for Central, 5'11 senior. Rounds out the first five. For Central. So it'll be Kitt, Imes, Keith, Williams, and Lehman for Central. It's Davis, Lang, Gorsuch, Royer, and Kaufman for Williamsburg. Tonight's officials, Larry Stitt is the referee, Jack Morgan and Doug Moore are the umpires, and they better be in good behavior. I see Dave Hyman, Ron Rickens up in the stands tonight. So I wasn't uh, going to tell them, Phil, but now you spilled <laughs> the beans. Caught a glimpse of its two fellows during the national anthem. So uh, and they're up there in the corner. A lot of these names that we're, away. that we're announcing here for Central is reminiscent of the football, couple football games we did. Once against Lewistown, once against Tyrone, uh, uh, they're also playing basketball. That's we'll have to be careful not to, to make any football calls tonight. Yeah, we didn't do such a good job in football. I think we screwed up a couple times. So we <laughs> have a chance right. to atone here. Underway. Central will control the tip. Keith does, gets it into Kitt's hands, who dishes it off to Brooks Williams and the sophomore point guard, and we're underway. First shot of the game, Keith takes the three, not there. Rebound fought for Central, has it up and off the glass. It's no good. Matt Lehman with the follow. He'll draw the foul, though, as Jack Morgan makes the call, and Mr. Lehman will find himself on the free throw line to shoot two. Williamsburg up, opened up in the zone that time, Phil. Uh, Central did a good job of swinging the ball and got a shot out of it. Good job on the offensive boards. And uh, had a put back and got, got fouled. First shot for Lehman is good. Second attempt is also good. Nothing but net. Two nothing. Scarlet Dragons just underway. Williamsburg kicking the ball right up the floor. Knocked out of bounds off the hands of Matt Imes. The Blue Pirates will retain possession underneath their own basket. Central on the out-of-bounds plays here is in a 2-3 zone. Brooks Williams hustling over, knocking the ball into the seats. So now side out, side inbounds play for the Blue Pirates. Lang to inbounds to Davis, back out to Royer. Royer now picking up the dribble, finding himself in a little bit of trouble. Davis bails him out. Now steal inside. A couple dribbles are going to get away with it. Now Brooks Williams picks it up and he'll set up the offense. Looks like Central now happy to go into their half-court set. Williamsburg uh, in a 1-2-2 two, two zone uh, chasing the ball. I think uh, Central can swing the ball. They had a look like they passed up a, an open shot on that series right there. Keith had an open three. He missed a yeah. three last time down the floor. He might have been a little shy to take it. There's a three-pointer on the opposite end of the floor from Ryan Lang. So Lang with his first bucket of the evening. Three to two, Blue Pirates with the early lead. 6.56 to go in the opening quarter from Central High School. And the ball kicked inside to Matt Imes, and Imes is fouled. Foul on the floor, so. Gorsuch. Robbie Keith will inbounds. Gorsuch with the personal foul. It's his first, team second. Back out on top to Williams. Williams looks to penetrate, now dishes off. Keith again driving, gives up the ball inside. Back come the Blue Pirates. Jumper from 15 is no good. Loose ball picked up by Lang. He'll pull it out, take the three, no good. Lang follows, gets his own rebound, and he's fouled. 
Williamsburg doing a good job uh, both on the offensive and defensive end uh, here to begin the game, Phil. That foul going against Matt Lehman. That's his first personal. Central throws up a pretty big zone there. Uh, the two three zone. They got long arms and they have uh, six four, two six three people in the on the back line. So see if what Williamsburg can do to penetrate it here. Royer got himself caught up in the air. Tried to make the pass. Davis was unable to handle it. Back comes Central. Joey Kitt, the senior. Down in the corner to Keith. Central looking to pound that ball inside. So far, they have not had too much success. 3-2, to two, Williamsburg out on top early. Williams to penetrate. Kicks it out. Again, almost thrown away. The 1-2-2 two, two zone by Williamsburg has, has Central a little bit out of kilter here, Phil. Now Williamsburg comes up with a steal. They haven't been able to get into any uh, you know rhythm in their offense yet. Royer's going to try and settle things down. A little sloppy here in the early going both ways on offense. Turnaround jumper blocked from behind by Williams, but he'll pick up the personal as Kyle Davis was attempting the 15-foot jumper. Kyle Davis, uh, Phil, a 6'3 senior uh, leader out there. Uh, I think he's averaging over 20 points a game for, for the Blue Pirates. He looks pretty strong in there. First shot is good. Five to two, Blue Pirates on top. This would be important day for the Blue Pirates to get out on top like this, get some confidence in, in a building where a team's undefeated. No question, on the road. Second shot also. Second shot was good also. They haven't on the board yet, but it's, or it is five. Okay, I'm sorry, five to two. Keith now, he'll take the three. Doesn't get it. Rebound, Joe Kitt. Kitt puts the ball on the floor, has it taken. Now loose ball picked up. The shot is there for Matt Imes. Central has that, that strong, uh, strong in the Pretty in the front pass court. by Royer inside. He finds Gorsuch. Gorsuch. Gorsuch got a number on that I didn't have in my book. So Ryan Gorsuch gets his first two of the night. Again, Central Dave looking to have a little trouble solving this zone defense. Well, it's a, from here it's a, it's a one, two, two, and they're, they're chasing the ball and uh, chasing the corner. I think what Central needs to do is you know, get somebody up to the high post, uh, get it inside, pop it back outside, and look for the uh, open shot outside. Kyle Davis gets his first personal. There's a pretty play. Robbie Keith gets his first two of the night. Nice play by Keith that time. He was able to get the baseline, went and make a nice athletic move for the basket. Nice hands by Davis. Kicks it back to Lang. Lang wants the three and gets it. Ryan Lang, his second three of the night. Ten to six, Blue Pirates out on top. 4.08 to play in the first period from Central High School. And I think Don Appleman was, was correct when he was telling us this is a much better team than two and six. Joey Kitt from three. <laughs> 10 to nine. The Williamsburg lead cut to one. Nice pass inside, Davis off the glass and good. Real nice ball movement that time against the uh, Central zone. So just as I stated that both teams were a little sloppy, last couple of times down the floor, they've cleaned up Start the offense a little offense. bit. Keith with a three, and now we're lighting it up. Robbie Keith, his first three of the night. 12-12, we're all tied with 3.23 to go. Pass off to Glass, Central looks to run. Kit with the ball in the center of the floor. He's gonna keep it, drives off the Glass and good. Joe Kit showing his athletic ability on that play, Phil. We know he's a good all-around athlete, and he took the ball and put his head down and took it right to the hoop and laid it in. Fine job by Kip. Central with their first lead of the game, 14 to 12. Davis pulls up, looking for something to do with a basketball. Well, shoot, it's off the front of the rim. Rebound to Matt Lehman. Get it in the hands of the floor general, Brooke Williams, a sophomore. Also stand out on the football team. 
Keith again from three, and somebody's going to have to get out there, Mr. Smith, and get a hand in his face. Well, one way to get the team out of that uh, one-two, get Williamsburg out of that one-two-two two zone is to keep drilling those threes. Uh, I think one more, and Williamsburg's going to have to think of uh, think about changing up on defense here and get a hand in their face. All of a sudden now, the central lead is five. Nice pass again inside. Off the glass strong. It's not there for Kaufman. Central with the rebound. Lehman doing a nice job on the boards. And again, Williams will set up the half-court offense. Joe Kitt takes a look, but didn't like what he saw. Williams Berg in, in a 2-3 zone now. Pretty pass. The lob is there. Lehman gets the easy bucket. Clyde Williamsburg sleeping on that, Phil, and uh, Coach Dave Cato is going to talk it over here. They're down seven, but they're playing fairly well. Just the uh, Central's lighting it up from three-point land, and that time he put them to sleep on the baseline for the lob. I said Lehman. I want to correct myself. It was uh, Matt Ives with the rebound on the far end of the floor, then the bucket. And it was a, a beautiful pass from, I believe it was Brooke Williams that found him open up in there along the baseline. So 19 to 12. Central now with a seven-point lead with a minute and 54 to go as you get a look at the Scarlet Dragon cheerleading squad. Reggie Evans has been the coach here at Central for, uh, this is his 14th year, and he has a record of 239 wins and 111 losses. A lot of coaches in the state of Pennsylvania and across the country would like to be able to, to have a record like that. As far as Williamsburg, uh, Dave Cato, this is his fourth year at Williamsburg High School, and he's 43 wins and 33 losses. So he's coming along. He's doing a fine job, too. And the, the future really looks good for Central because, like we we talked about on the pregame show, uh, four returning starters are back. Out of those four, uh, three of them are still underclassmen. So uh, the future's looking good for the Central basketball program. Davis with the basketball, the near side. Kaufman. Travis Kegarice into the game. So I, think, I think Williamsburg, now, now we have another timeout, but I think Williamsburg needs to settle down, okay? They, they've already shown that they can play with Central. And I think they need to take care of the ball. If Central's going to stay back in, a, in the zone, and I think Williamsburg needs to, you know, Swing the ball, move it around, wait for the open shot, and don't panic. Travis Cogarice, I should say, 5'11 junior, into the ball game on the last time out for Williamsburg. Again, the score 19 to 12 with a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. I think Coach Appleman, or uh, Don Appleman, the athletic director, hit the nail on the head when he said this uh, this Williamsburg team's a better basketball team than two and six. Looks like they can be very competitive out there. Tom Schaefer also into the game on the central side. Schaefer, the six-foot senior. There's a foul. A good 30 feet away from the basket. Williamsburg uh, making an adjustment on defense. I haven't had a chance to see whether it's going to be a straight man-to-man -man or or whether they're just going to have a you know, chase in the zone. But they have to get a hand in the face of these three-point shooters from Central. Kegarice picks up his first personal. Now there's two dribbles from Brooks Williams. I think, no, they're going to get the foul call. And the uh, Williamsburg bench, I think, felt the same as I did. Williamsburg's bringing their defense out. They're not playing a, a straight man-to-man. -man. They're trying to trap in the corners. And it worked that time. Schaefer with the loose ball. Back to Kit. There's Keith. Drives baseline off the glass. No good. Battle inside for the rebounds on the floor. Williamsburg comes up with it. Now a travel called against Ryan Lang. So the ball will stay on this end of the floor with Central. And it's the old rule, uh, Phil. You, you can't give baseline. You can't let Central run the baseline that easy because they're either going to lay it in or dish it off to those big people in there. Keith will take the three. It'll go in and out and rebound to Williamsburg. 
Pass ahead to Kaufman. Back to Royer. Royer looking inside, has Davis, back out to Royer. Royer's gonna go baseline, pull up with the 10-footer, no good. Rebound inside, Central had it taken away by Davis. He'll go up off the glass, no good. And Imes will pull down the board. Davis did a nice job on the offensive boards. He boxed out, had the layup, but just couldn't convert it. Williams now with a 15-footer, no good. Gets his own rebound, shot this time is good from 12 feet. That's the first two of the game for Brooks Williams. 21 to 12, nine point advantage for Central. 10 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Nice pass inside, the shot won't go for Davis. Kid at the buzzer, it'll be short. So we will end up the first quarter of play with Central taking a 21 to 12 lead against the Williamsburg Blue Pirates. You're watching high school basketball. This is Cablecom Sports. His third tray of the evening. Just Nine. what the doctor ordered for Williamsburg. Got him right back in the ball game here. Schaefer inside, pretty pass. Back door isn't there, though. Imes could not get the layup to go. Now hustle on Schaefer's part, knocks the ball out of bounds. Williamsburg will retain possession. Coach uh, Dave Cato had said before the season that uh, his players were pretty well fundamentally sound. Uh, they were pretty good shooters, but it was going to take a while for them to come together as a team. And, uh, you know, with the two and six record, it, that's certainly come true. And games like this can only help them. Davis with a fadeaway, no good. Davis having trouble right now getting the shot to go down. Joe Kitt dishes off. There's a jump shot, a three is no good from Jeremy Ebersole, who had checked into the game on us. 5'9", senior. Now fouled down inside will send Imes. Imes to the free throw line. Matt Imes, a tremendous job that time of boxing out. Got the rebound, went up strong, and got the foul. He, he's a pretty good-looking big man in there. Six foot four, and uh, he's only a junior. Foul going against uh, Kyle Davis. First shot is good for Mimes. Davis picking up his second foul, or yeah, second personal, so second shot also goes for Matt Imes. That's the sixth point of the evening. Fifth and sixth points of the evening. So Davis struggling on the offensive end and a little bit on the defensive end, picking up two personals. The central uh, central's trying to do their best to, to do their their part too to keep Williamsburg from making those three point shots. They're now in a man to man defense. Couple more players. Justin Kagerice checking into the game for Williamsburg. Central now on the other end. Brooks Williams gets the easy nice layup. Steal by Williams. Not a very good pass that time by Williamsburg. Alan Dilling also into the game now for the Blue Pirates. And another steal by Williams. And another bucket. Brooks Williams is a 5'11 sophomore, Phil. We saw him play football. We commented what, a, what an athlete he was. And we're seeing some athletic ability from him right now. So Kegerice just checking into the game and struggling a little bit on the offensive end from Waysburg. And another near turnover, although Kegerice will draw the foul instead. And Justin Kegerice is uh, a 5'9 sophomore in there playing in point guard. He's getting a little bit of a baptism of fire here. Uh, you know, his first couple minutes of the second quarter. I, I'm sure when he settles down here, he'll be okay. Times picking up his first foul tonight. Royer with a basketball. Picks up that dribble. Now central the pressure defense. Finds a man inside. Kaufman strong to the hoop and off the glass and good. Seth Kaufman with a strong move. Fine move by Seth Kaufman that time against the central man-to-man. -man. Once they were able to find Kaufman at the low post, it was nothing but uh, right to the hoop. Pretty pass again by Williams to Imes. Imes was fouled before he could take the ball up to the glass. Central leading by 10, 27-17, 5.49 to go in the first half. Central now will be in the one and one. 
The foul went against Ryan Lang. That's his second. So now Davis and Lang, two seniors, two senior starters for Williamsburg with two fouls apiece. Central kind of taking charge uh, since they went to a man-to-man -man here in the second quarter. Kind of now they have Williamsburg out of sync and uh, out of their rhythm as far as they're running their offense. Himes missing the front end of that one-on-one. -on -one. There's a three by Lang. Won't go. Royer with the follow. He's fouled. The shot doesn't go. He'll shoot two, though. Roger Royer will be looking for his first points of the game. Foul going against Ives. Quickly, Ives picks up two. And now a couple substitutions for Central. Into the game. Robbie Keith comes back into the game. And for the first time tonight, Chris Moses checks in. Roger Royer, uh, pretty good looking junior. He's a six foot one junior. He has his hands full in there tonight, uh, you know, battling against Lehman. But uh, he's holding his own in there. Did a nice job on that. He does get one of two. So the lead is now 27 18 for Central. 5.35 to go in the first half. Cablecom Sports bringing you tonight's high school basketball game from Martinsburg. Still, uh, Williamsburg still in the zone. They're in the 2-3 zone. Williams dishes off. And I think if, uh, if, if Williamsburg can run their zone and uh, the Central, you know, keeps taking shots like that, so Williamsburg will be, get back in the ball game. Robbie Keith is Central's three-point shooter, and he's that's, trying to find the uh, rhythm. And I think that's not exactly what Coach Nevins had in mind against that zone. Kegerice with the basketball again, having a little bit of trouble. Gets it to Royer, gets it to Lang. Lang with the three. He has three of them. He missed the last two. Royer with the rebound. The follow off the glass and good. Royer Circus doing a nice shot job from Roger there. Royer. He gets it to go down now. Doing a nice job in there. 27-20. Williamsburg back to within seven. Williams to Kit. Inside to Schaefer, strong move, isn't there. Good defense by Williamsburg. Looking ahead to Kegerice. Kegerice off the glass and gets it to go. Here come the Blue Pirates. Down to five. Central had the right idea last time. They got Kit down on the low post. They thought they had a little bit of a mismatch and he could post them up, but uh, real nice job by the Williamsburg defense. Now Kegerice gets beat off the dribble and he reaches out and fouls Williams. Williamsburg coaches didn't like it, but uh, he definitely grabbed him as he was going by him. Alan Dilling uh, is playing uh, down on the low post there, uh, you know, against uh, Joey Kitt, and uh, really did a nice job last time. Williams gets the first the one on one, so now he'll get the second shot. 28 22, six point central lead. Matt Lehman checking back into the game for Central. Tom Schaefer will get a breath. Schaefer, pretty strong play so far in the first half. Schaefer, another one of those uh, outstanding athletes that we saw play football and basketball. One of those guys that can do it all. Great board and follow by Robbie Keith. 30 to 22, eight points. Central advantage, four minutes to play in the first half. And even though Williamsburg went through a bad spell there, not not uh, doing too well, they're right in the ball game here. And if they can get a hoop here, Central in a 3-2 zone. Williamsburg trying to weather the storm here with their big gun yeah. Davis on the bench. Kagerice will take the three. Doesn't get it. Just over the hands of Lang on the rebound. Williams does come up with it. Now he'll run with the ball. Loses his footing. Able to keep possession of Dish it off. Wow. There's a block, no call. Back comes Kegerice the other way. Kit will tie him up. I think Lehman that time was asking to get the number of that truck in there on the uh, down in the key, but uh, well, I was getting a little physical out there. Which we expected tonight. Good game so far. Central and the jump ball will take possession. It's their turn. 30 to 22. They have the lead. Kit. Spots up from three, doesn't get it. Rebound, fought for underneath. Still up for grabs. Williamsburg comes up with it. Ryan Lang, now he needs some help as he had to pick the dribble up. Some 80 feet away from the basket. Travis Kegerice came to his rescue. Lang 
looking inside, somehow found its way in, and the bucket by Gorsuch. Gorsuch, the 6'2 senior, doing a nice job in there. He's uh, spelling Davis real well. Kit from 17 feet, no good. And there's a rebound to Kegerais and a foul that'll go against Chris Moses. That'll be Moses' first personal. I, and I think that uh, what we're seeing here is exactly what we talked about before the game. Williamsburg is going to be a fine, bas a pretty fine basketball team before this season's over, and they're going to be heard from in Class A when it comes to the playoffs. And these Triple A games can only help them, especially on the road. They're doing a fine job here. Lang down to the baseline, back out on top of Kegrice. Kit steps in front of that pass. He's going to go in and get an easy bucket. Kit showing his athletic ability, uh, timed that, stepped inside, made the interception, and went the, coast to coast. The central team, Dave, looks a little yes. too athletic to make those cross-court passes like that. They certainly are athletic. We've talked about that already. Baseline move off the glass, and good. Alan Dilling. And all, talking about central, how well they are and how, how athletic they are, looking up at the scoreboard, it's... 32-26, so we have ourselves a real good game. Keith now. Joey Kitt drives. Nice dish. Fine play. Fine play. Bucket for Lehman. Joey Kitt uh, was the catalyst on that. He took it to the hoop. Last time he took it to the hoop and laid it in. This time he dished it off. Joey Kitt running back, tailback for the Central Scarlet Dragon football team, playing a little quarterback right there with a nice dish to Lehman. And I think they're doing the right thing here. If, if I'm Williamsburg, I'd like to get Central out of that zone. Run some time off the clock, make it a little bit shorter game than it is. Lang now. Back to Kegerice. Good move by Williamsburg here. Williamsburg trailing by eight with a minute and 14 to go in the first half. Kegerice drives, doesn't get the layup to go. Moses with the rebound. Back comes Joe Kitt. Little... Juke move, Keith from three, no good, off the front of the rim. Oh, pretty pass right there, the bucket won't go. Williamsburg Gorsuch hustling. with two great plays right there, beautiful pass, and then he hustled down to four, Dave, to get that rebound and, and keep got, the play alive and draw the foul. And not only did he get one offensive rebound, but he went down there, boxed out, and, and got two. Excellent hustle by Gorsuch. The foul going against Matt Lehman. That will be his second personal. Sixteen foul with 52 seconds to go. Eighteen fouls up on the board for Waysburg. So things pretty even that way. Well, and with, with uh, three seniors, uh, six foot three, six one, and six two, with Davis, uh, Lang, and Gorsuch, uh, Waysburg can throw some muscle at you. Very impressed with Waysburg here in the early yes. going. Gorsuch gets the first shot. His second free throw attempt is in and out. Rebound key to Kitt to Williams. 34-27, seven-point central lead. 44 seconds left as Reggie Nevins decides to go for the last shot. Kitt is tripped up. No, they'll call a travel as Joe Kitt tried to split the double team. I don't think some of the fans thought it was a travel. Some of the central fans thought it wasn't a travel, but the referees are out there, and if, if the referee says it's a travel, it's a travel. To, to quote the fan behind us, Larry, Larry, how could you call that a walk? Sounds like a tune from the uh, 50s. Anyway, Williamsburg with the basketball. Kaufman, little razzle-dazzle, dishes it outside. The three is not there for Royer, and back comes Central. Pass ahead to Kit. Oh, pretty play, Kit! To Schaefer. Joe Heads Kitt. up play by Joe Kitt. Joe Kitt showing his athletic ability. Ball was going out of bounds. Kitt was able to save it and put it kind of over his back Schaefer to had, Schaefer. Schaefer had the presence to follow, be the trailer in there, and now he's going to get two foul shots. Boy, how many times, too, you'll see the kids don't hustle down the floor and they're not in position to make Absolutely. that play. And Schaefer uh, gets the first. When you come down to the to the end of the game and, it's, and you have a barn burner, lot when you think back to plays like that, if he gets two points here, it could be the difference in the game, just that hustle down the court. 
Royer picked up his second foul. Schaefer doesn't get the second. Battle inside, Moses. Over the back by Moses that time. And uh, I'm sure that Coach Nevins isn't too happy about that. There he is with a uh, eight point lead. Uh, wanted to drop back on defense now, putting Williamsburg at the line with the clock stopped uh, with a one and one. And uh, you know, a chance to let them get right back in the ball game. Gorsuch at the free throw line, makes the first. You know, that's tough though, to almost to fault a kid because he's being aggressive going to the boards hard on the offensive end, but I know what you're saying. Gorsuch is doing a fine job here, here Phil. Uh, he's a 6'2 senior. He's really taking charge in there since uh, Davis got in a little bit of foul trouble. Jeremy Ebersol checking back in, the senior, and uh, Schaefer sitting down. Gorsuch gets the second free throw. So it's 35-29, six-point Central lead with 13 ticks on the clock, and uh, Central definitely wants to look for the last shot now. Clearing it out, Williams looking for some room, pulls up from 15 feet, doesn't get it. Gorsuch now. with the rebound, and he'll just hold on to it, and that will end the first half. So 35-29 to 29 is the score, and that was a pretty entertaining first half of play. Well, and that, I, I give Williamsburg all the credit in the world for keeping their poise. Uh, they dropped down 10 to 12. They had a 12-point deficit. Things weren't going too well. Uh, Central was playing in their face man-to-man. -man. Uh, they called a timeout. They talked a few things over, and... Uh, it, you know they've really stayed in this ball game and uh, played with the poise and was you know they were fundamentally sound and uh, they're in a position here to come out in the second half and make this very interesting. And with that being said, we're going to take five and come back with the second half action. You're watching. Still has it. They do. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's been pretty enjoyable tonight. Well, uh, Larry's under the gun tonight. Uh, I think there's there's some uh, people here from the PIAA writing some things down. Nah, we're just kidding. Larry's a buddy, and we like to we like to harass him a little bit. He's doing all right. Williamsburg with a basketball. Nice move by Royer. Shot won't go, though. And uh, I believe Williamsburg still has it. They do. Ball knocked out of bounds. Blue Pirates it's very, keep very it. important, Phil, for Williamsburg to keep their cool here and stay in the game here the first part of the third quarter. They're gaining confidence all along. And uh, just what they can't afford to do is turnovers like that. Keith and Gorsuch colliding. Keith getting a knock upside the head. And the foul is going to go against Mr. Gorsuch. That's his Gorsuch has second personal. They have him for one on the board, but that's I actually I think he does second. have two, Phil. Gorsuch is doing a good job here tonight, but on both ends of the board, or both ends of the court. 35-29, Central on top. Kit with the basketball. Back out on top to Williams. Williams looking to penetrate. Dishes it out to Keith. Keith from three gets it. Robbie Keith with the first points in the second half. It's a three-pointer. 38-29. And worst case scenario is if you're Williamsburg uh, coming out here and uh, having Central drill a three because they're down, they were down six. All of a sudden they're down nine and we don't want, they, they don't want their young players to feel they have to panic and push the ball off the floor. Lehman picks up his third foul of the evening. 7.19 to go in the third quarter. Gorsuch has a shot blocked. Kit comes up with the loose ball, pushing it up the floor. Pulls up, kicks it to Williams. Williams drives, dishes off to Lehman. Lehman off the glass. His shot's blocked by Royer. Back up again. Second shot won't go. Davis with the rebound. Davis wants to run now. And the ball is thrown away as Davis was looking for Kaufman, and Kaufman was not looking for Davis. Williamsburg needs to settle down, play their game, get into their offensive set instead of trying to push the ball up the floor. They're only down by nine. Williams now, again looking to penetrate, kicks it outside to Keith, and he'll travel with it. Turnover, back to Williamsburg. Williamsburg shown that uh, they can play half court with Central. 
So they need to come down and, you know, and set up here and uh, take their time. Make sure they get a good shot. Good shot here. Lang with a basketball. He'll drive. Dish inside. Kaufman comes up with it off the glass, and it is good. So the first two points of the second half for Williamsburg. And a real nice play that time by Ryan Lang. Uh, taking it to the hoop, bringing the defensive out, defense out and dishing off. Again, Central moving the ball out on the perimeter, looking for something inside. Kit back to Williams. Williams back to Kit. Kit takes a look at the three, kicks it to Williams. Williams from the free throw line, no good. Rebound battled for, and Davis is going to pick up another personal. That'll be his third. So the 6'3 senior picking up a quick foul with 6.07 to go in the third quarter. And, and we talked before the game and a little bit here in the first quarter that Davis is the go-to guy for Williamsburg. So uh, they could be... Uh, you know, they could be limited here with Davis having three fouls on him now this early in the third quarter. Williams with the jersey hanging loose in front of us. Back to Keith. Now Williams again with the basketball. Williamsburg in a pretty strong zone there. Uh, Central's moving the ball around here, trying to find the open man for the three. Williams wanted to dish off to Lehman. The ball was kicked by a blue pirate so it'll stay on this end of the floor with Central. Plus Williamsburg almost has to stay in his zone now with Davis having three fouls. Kit with a basketball. Ball knocked out of bounds by Royer. Not a lot of motion with this offense right now, Dave. A lot of uh, white nope. jerseys standing around. Plus, Williamsburg doing a good job on the zone, hustling to the areas. They, they uh, hands up. Uh, Central having a little bit of a hard time figuring it out. Kit surveying that Williamsburg defense. Lang with some pressure. Williams at the free throw line. This is off. Keith will take the three. It doesn't get it. Williams with the rebound. Goes in off the glass and good. Nice play by Williams. Good looking 10th grader, isn't he, Phil? Just about to say that. Yeah, he's a real nice looking athlete for a 10th grader. Did the job in football, too. Nine point lead for Central with 4.54 to go in the third quarter. Royer with a basketball. Unsure of what he wants to do. Now he puts it on the floor. Pulls up. Shot was blocked. Follows good by Davis, I believe yes, that was. It was Davis. Did a nice job in there. That's only Davis' sixth point of the night. Seven point central lead. They have the basketball. Cablecom Sports bringing you the game from Martinsburg. Kit can't find the shot. Keith with the rebound. And he's fouled on the floor. Is that Davis? And it is Davis. That's number four. So the senior is going to have to sit down with four fouls, 4.23 left in the third quarter. Checking into the game will be Alan Dilling, a 5'9 junior. Now Gorsuch is going to have to step up and do the job like he did in the first half when Davis went out. Kit with a long first step. Williamsburg coming over the ball. Joe Kit chases it down. He's a valuable player, Phil. Well, that's the kind of player you need. He's a spark plug out there. Boy, what hustle. Speed. Here he goes again. Drives. The shot's blocked, but they're going to call a foul against Lang. Ryan Lang will pick up his third. So now the two starting guards for Williamsburg, Davis with four, Lang with three. We're only halfway through the third quarter. And Central has decided to attack the zone by penetrating there, you know, with Kit. And with Williams, they're penetrating now and dishing off and getting second and third shots on offense as opposed to shooting the long three-pointers. Kit gets the first free throw. Second also. Nine-point Scarlet Dragon lead, 42-33. Central is uh, showing a, a pretty uh, diversified offense. Uh, you know, they're spreading out the scoring. Uh, quite a few players have scored for him. That's a good, that's a sign of a good basketball team. Williamsburg now trailing by nine with the basketball. Shot from Gorsuch is good from 17. Ninth point on the evening. 
for Gorsuch. Gorsuch is stepping up. We said he had to step up when uh, Davis went out. He did it in the first half, and here he is doing it again in the second. Brooke Williams with a basketball. Keith with 13 leads the central scoring attack. Nice move by Joe Kitt. Bucket counts and a foul. Foul charge to Justin Kegerice. That's his second personal. Joe Kitt's taking charge of this central offense here in the second or in the third quarter, hasn't he? He'll get the roll on the foul shot. So a three-point play by Joe Kitt. Tom Schaefer will check back into the game for Central. Lehman will sit down. Ten-point Scarlet Dragon lead, 324 to go in the third quarter. Phil Sipes along with me tonight, Dave Smith from Martinsburg Central High School. Gorsuch doesn't get it. Imes does clear the glass. Back comes Joe Kidd. He wants to penetrate. Loses control. Gains control. Back out to Williams. Now they'll set up the half-court offense. And Royer will get called for the block. That's number three on Roger Royer. So slowly, Williamsburg's starting to get into a little bit of foul trouble. And we're to the point here where we're more than halfway through the third period. Williamsburg's still only 10 points down. Things aren't going their way. They're getting in a little bit of foul trouble. But if they can just, you know, keep their poise, keep their concentration, there's no reason they can't stay in this game. Travis Kegerice checking in for Williamsburg. Inside, the shot is not there by Ives. And now the foul will go against, I believe, Matt Ives, and we'll head down to the other end of the floor. For Ives, that's his third personal. Williamsburg. Ives looks pretty big and strong in there, Phil. He's a six foot four uh, junior. Uh, we saw him have a real nice football season, too, this year. We know he's big and strong. He'll sit down, and Dylan Metz will see his first action in the evening. Kager Ice with the basketball. Looking to dish inside to Seth Kaufman. He goes up strong and gets hammered on the play by Schaefer. So Kaufman will shoot two. And Justin Kegerice uh, came in off the bench that time. Did a real nice job. Uh, took it to the hoop and was able to dish off. He's, uh, he's looking good out there right now. That's Schaefer's first foul of the evening. Two shots for Mr. Kaufman. First shot is good. That's his third point of the quarter, his fifth of the game. We'll give Williamsburg credit here. They're, they're not going away, and they're taking it right to Central here. Now they're, they're back to an eight-point deficit. 45-37. Brooks Williams will walk the ball up the floor. Schaefer, Metz, Kitt. Williamsburg's in the Keith. zone now. Or, I mean, back into a man-to-man. -man. I'm sorry. Williams wants to penetrate. He'll get called by the, for the travel. <laughs> so Williamsburg now will regain possession of the basketball, trailing by eight. Just as we saw in the girls game the other night with Bellwood and Guilfoyle, Bellwood just wouldn't go away, and no. neither will the Blue Pirates here tonight. Oh, it's a sign of a good program, sign of a well-coached team. Kager Ice looking for Kaufman. Kaufman dishes it inside. Ball loose. Here comes Kit. Kager Ice with a nice block out on top to slow Kit down. and uh, Gets a force out there. Joe's used to those kinds of plays, only usually it's a defensive end that's trying to hold him up from getting to the outside. But uh, he'll go to the line and, and shoot because they're already in the one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. He's impressive uh, with his intensity and his speed and quickness here tonight. Second foul on Travis Kegerice, the 5'11 junior. Joey Kitt now with 12 points on the game. Doesn't get the first shot to go. There's but Kitt again. <laughs> wow. Ball hawk. Doesn't get that. Gorsuch does clear the boards. Now looks out ahead for Kegerice. He goes in. Nice left play. hand. Layup is good. Nice play by Kegerice to control that ball. Not walk and lay it in left-handed. Lead back. To six. Back to six. Back down to six, I should say. Kid had a chance to put him up ten. 
Metz. Key. He'll pull up fade away from 10 feet, and he gets a rule. Tough shot. Robbie Keith having a nice game. He has 15 on the evening. I don't know if that was a shot that uh, Coach Nevins wanted him to take, but I did see Coach Nevins clapping over there when it went in. Rebound Mets on the Kegger Ice miss. Back comes Central. Williams ahead. Nice dish. Schaefer from Keith. Central showing their athletic ability now. Looking Back for the ten. fast break. Running real well. A minute and four left in the third. Kager Ice dishes. There's a pretty pass to Gorsuch. He gets the easy bucket. Mark Gorsuch, the 6'2 senior. Robbie Keith that time caught sleeping on the baseline a little bit. Williams now resets the show. Kit comes off the pick. There's Keith with a jumper from 17. Doesn't get the roll. Kegerice gets the board. Now he'll run the ball up the floor. Head to his brother. Taken away by Williams to Kit. Kit with a spin move. And they're going to call the charge. They're going to call the charge as they say that Gorsuch was there and had position. Of course, the local... The home team, the home fans don't like the call, but it's not going to change anything. So Kit will pick up his first foul of the evening. Some of the Central fans are wishing Merry Christmas to the referee and crew here uh, <laughs> the and last a, couple minutes. And two days ahead of Christmas, that's pretty nice of them to do. Uh, that's the spirit. And we knew we'd see some Christmas spirit here tonight. Again, this is the uh, Sipe Smith Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Williamsburg's going to take the air out of the ball with only 14 ticks left in the third quarter. They trail by eight. Once again, with the way things have been going, Williamsburg can't feel too bad about being down only eight. If they get a hoop here. Davis doesn't get the shot to go. Schaefer with a strong board. And the quarter will end with Williamsburg trailing Central by eight. You're watching high school basketball. This is Cablecom Sports. May your holiday be filled with the gift of joy. Happy holidays from your friends at CableCom. Join CableCom in our 8th Annual Gifts for Kids program. Help us help the less fortunate in our community. Donate a new unwrapped toy valued at $10 or more and receive a free upgrade to the premium channel of your choice. Choose from HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, the Disney Channel, or the Movie Channel. And pay just $5.95 per month for a full year. Or get the upgrade of your choice with a monetary donation to the cause. Stop by our office on Beale Avenue or call our office at 946-5491. Cablecom, your local connection to the world. Central inbounds the basketball right in front of our position to start the fourth period of play. They have an eight-point advantage over Williamsburg. Central looking to stay undefeated. They would go 9-0 with a win tonight. Kit looking inside to Imes. The pass a little high. Imes tried to catch up to it and committed a foul on the play. So that's uh, number four for Matt Imes as he had just checked back into the game to start the quarter. Matt Imes is a pillar of strength underneath the on the defensive and offensive boards for Central so they can no afford to lose him going beginning of the fourth quarter here. Kegerice now with the basketball. Royer to Kegerice. Back to Royer. Royer takes looks at 15, gives it up and Lang is able to come up with a ball that was tapped by Keith. Now Royer again. Back out on top to Kegerice and they'll reset. Here's Davis. Davis jumper from 18 foot is no good. Schaefer finally does come up with the ball and gets it in the hand of Brooke Williams. Well, you can't fault Williamsburg. Uh, they played good defense down here, got the ball back, uh, worked it around for a good shot to their number one scorer, Davis, but he just wasn't able to convert. Davis in there with four, and I think this is a good move because I'll tell you what, the kid's got to learn to play with fouls. Yeah, there's no and, uh, question about that. And, no uh, reason to leave him on the bench. Learn well, to play now. He can help you later on. Plus, Williamsburg's in, the, in their zone. They're trapping zone down there. 
That might protect him from some fouls. Lang doesn't get the three to go. Davis hustles, grabs the loose ball on the floor, and then gives it up out of bounds. Lang didn't see that pass coming. 49-41, Central on top by eight, 6.48 to go in the ball game. This is one of those competitive games, Phil, where I think it'll benefit both teams before, before it's all over. Now again, sloppy play by Williams, and Royer comes up with a basketball. Kegerice over to Lang. Lang spots up from three, gets it. Ryan Lang with a three to start NBA the scoring three. in the fourth quarter. And here we go. We're down to five points. We have ourselves a ball game again. That's the closest Williamsburg has been in a while. 6-16 to go in the, in the ball game. 49-44. Sorry, for Williamsburg in... Uh, Looks like they, they want to play man-to-man. -man. Looks like they're going to match up here and go man. Trying to confuse Central here with their defense. Making it look like a zone, but it is a man. There's no need for Williamsburg to hurry here. They no. come out, actually, if they don't want to. They, they already trail by five with six minutes to no. go. They're happy to be a five-point uh, five game in the fourth quarter. Coach Nevins right now is going to have uh, yeah. Brooks just hang on to it. And the shorter the game for Williamsburg, the better it is for them. Williamsburg will be happy to play a three-minute game. This is always an interesting call because, boy, if it works, you look like a genius. If it doesn't work, you're second-guessing you clear to the next game or beyond. Well, you certainly can't blame Williamsburg, like we just said a few minutes ago. Down by five, they're definitely in the ball game. They don't want to get into a running game with Central. And that gives us some time, Dave. Why don't you get your wife for Christmas? <laughs> I haven't started my Christmas shopping. Oh, yet. okay. That's tomorrow. Look at the central cheerleaders. <laughs> A lot of people don't like this, Phil, but I, I still think it's what makes the difference from, from high, uh, high school to college. There's no shot clock. Everybody has a chance. Uh, sometimes that's the only way one team has a chance to stay close with the other. And, uh, Williamsburg knows they can't get into a running game with, with Central, so if they can get it down to a three-minute game here, anything can happen. Yeah, that, that may be where we're headed because at some point Williamsburg will have to make sure. a decision to come out. Central, of course, they'd uh, hold it, let it run out. It was up to um, them. This is one of those cases where both both teams are doing the right thing. Central's trying to pull them out of that zone. Uh, you know, run the time off the clock. Williamsburg, they don't want to get into a, you know, they have a, their best players on the bench with four fouls. I mean, could be on the bench with five fouls. Davis has four. So uh, it's certainly not hurting Williamsburg here. However, when we get down, <laughs> I will hedge my bet a little bit, you know. How about a little Hank Williams well, while we're waiting? <laughs> when we do get down to when we get down to three minutes, then I'll have to say that they're going to have to come out and, and play man to man. But just in case I'm wrong, I like to hedge my bets. You know. So what's on the menu for Christmas dinner? Uh, <laughs> okay, here comes Williamsburg. They're going to chase a little bit now. There's the trap. Back out on top to Williams. Kit will spot up from three. Doesn't get it. Rebound though, Imes. Follow no good. Battle inside. On the floor, Kegerice comes up with it. Imes did a tremendous job of boxing out and got the rebound that time. Kegerice doesn't get the shot to go. Battle again inside. Davis and Keith. Keith wins. Nice and now rebound Williams by will Keith. walk it up the floor. And here we go again. Kit, again penetrating, pulling up off the glass, doesn't go, but he draws the foul. Joey will shoot two. Can't say enough about the athletic ability of Kit and the leadership that he shows and the strength and quickness. Plus, he's 5'11", he's not a little guy. No. And, and, you know, we talk a lot about players and their athletic ability, but uh, don't get us wrong, these guys are good basketball players. He's they, a heck of a basketball player. They certainly are. He has the skills. All these players have the skills. So Kit will go to the line to shoot two. Central has not scored yet in the fourth quarter. The only three points of the quarter 
belonged to Ryan Lang and the Blue Pirates as he cut the lead to five, at which it is right now 49-44. Kit misses the first. So Actually, it's a one on one. The strategy's working for Williamsburg. If they can just convert here, they'll be right in the ball game. There it is. Missed the layup. Won't go. Back comes Woy or, uh, Central. Check that. Williams dishes inside to Imes. Off the glass. That will go. And that's a huge turnaround. Big turnaround there. It's a uh, difference between being down seven points and being down three. Now Williamsburg in their half-court set. They need a bucket big time. 2.18 to go in this ballgame. They trail by seven. And Royer just gives it up inside. Back comes Kit. Imes. Looking for the dunk, doesn't get it to go. Now ball loose on the floor. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession to Williamsburg. That would have brought the house down. It made this awfully tough for Williamsburg, but uh, Imes could not convert on the dunk. And give both teams credit. Uh, both teams are executing, playing 100%. You have to hand it to Williamsburg. They, their strategy was working. They were down 49-44. Uh, uh, you know, they held the ball. And their uh, central held the ball. They wouldn't come out of their zone. Williamsburg come down and had two chances, okay? One layup and another time uh, an outside shot to be right in this game. And, uh, you know, the ball just didn't go in. If those hoops go in, we say, what a brilliant uh, brilliant strategy. And, uh, a lot yeah, of people, too, will say, why dunk it? Why not lay it in? But I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with going the basket strong. And there's no higher percentage shot than a dunk. I mean, if you can make it. You're, you're going to say, no, just lay it in. Well, I, it, it's 51-44. He had a chance to just lay the ball in there and make it 53-44. However, I, I do agree with you. There are certain times that would have been the nail in the coffin, I think, would have brought the fans into it and everything. You, you can't blame him for that. He's six foot four. You know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, as a coach, if he dunks the ball and it goes in, it's like, what a great, nice job, nice job, son. But since he missed it, you say, hey, you know, you could have just laid it, laid it in there and we'd have had two more points. But uh, oh, it, was, it was a real good job at Himes. I'm impressed with Himes. He's, he's big and strong, and, uh, and I believe he's still only a junior. He's going to be a real force in there before the season's over. 2.04 left in this ballgame. 51-44, seven-point central lead. Williams, Kitt, Himes, Schaefer, and Keith on the floor for central. This game's far from over, Phil, and there's still two full minutes. Uh, the way uh, Williamsburg shoots threes, Central's in a man-to-man -man trying to prevent that now. Kegger Ice gets it to Gorsuch, and they lose the ball again. Kit comes up with it. Now he'll find the point guard, Williams, and they'll just take their time here. A minute 43 left in this game, seven-point Central lead. That was a pass that didn't need to be made, but Central was fortunate to come up with it. Williams, another pass I don't know that needed to be made. Williamsburg comes up with this one now. And now Royer will be tripped as Williams tries to chase him down from behind and actually does catch him with a nice sliding block. And Williams, that's his second foul. And how many? Lang inbounds to Royer. Hager Ice, Davis, and Gorsuch also on the floor. Royer with a tough shot. Won't go. And the rebound is there by Schaefer. And now the ball again back in the floor general's hands. Brooks Williams, a sophomore. Nice pass to Imes. Imes goes up strong and a good hard foul by Gorsuch to stop the easy two. He'll make Imes earn him from the free throw line. Williamsburg uh, certainly has had the opportunity to be in this game. They had four trips down the court and have been unable to convert the, you know, the last four times down the court. Or it, you know, we could be looking at a real barn burner here. The Central hasn't exactly taken care of the ball down there with a seven-point lead. Chance to salt this one away at the free throw line. Matt Ives, the 6'4 junior. First shot is good. For Ives, that's his ninth point of the evening. I don't think there's any question that Central's going to be a force to reckon with in, in Triple A. Misses the second. Followed by Schaefer is good. That oh, is backbreaking right there. Ten point lead now with a minute to go. And Royer's taking his time. They need to get some shots here. Davis looking to make some room. Gets the eight foot runner. 
Kyle Davis. That's only his eighth point of the night. No pressure. 54-46, the clock's running. You can't sit back down, play the half-court trap. Williams looking ahead, Ives going in for the easy two, and he gets it. Matt Ives stepping up in the final quarter from Brooks Williams. Davis, shot good, and a charge. A charge called, that'll be all for Kyle Davis, and that'll take the points back off the board.